Hey, I'm Happy Payne, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Today I'm out here to fish some micro rigs, maybe some little swim baits or twister tails or little nymphs. I got a few different kinds of tiny lures here. I'm gonna fish them on a little jig head. We're going for panfish, small bass, anything that might go for these. Let's get started and see if we can get a bite. I think we're gonna start with a swim bait. This is a two inch matrix mini shad. Let's see what happens. There we go, this is what I'm fishing with. Can we get a bass? Maybe a bluegill? Maybe a crappie? I don't know, let's see. What I need to do is keep this bait moving. I want it near the bottom, but I don't want to get snagged. So we got to play it by ear. Well, we don't, <laughs> well, I can't really hear it, but you know what I mean. We just have to experiment a little and see what happens. I'm going to use a steady retrieve to keep it up out of the rocks. Fish. That's a bass. I got this tiny little, wow, I got this tiny little jig head on here. Let's see if I can keep them pinned. I'm not going to try and lift them up, but I got them. Check it out. I'm going to have to reach down and lift these out of the water because I don't want to break that tiny little hook. Look at that. I got a bass on the tiny micro swim bait. Once again, that's a hook I got from iFish. Cool little jig head. So far, so good. I saw this fish come up and grab it. The wake, right? I knew he was coming. Good one. Good one. Let's let it go. Fish, keep it realistic. Still got my lure. My hook still looks good. Yeah, we're gonna keep fishing. Let me make sure my drag is set. If I got a two pound bass, I don't want it to snap my line right away. Fish, another one. Holy cow, that's back to back. I gotta be careful. Like I said, these hooks are very thin hooks. They're very sharp and very thin. Bass number two. This one's a little bit skinnier, but it's definitely a longer, bigger fish. Let's get her off the hook and take a look. Yep, yep, we got a skinny one here. You, you need to find some more food out there. You got a big head and a thin body. Hopefully you can find some more to eat. Bon voyage. Well, I gotta say, they're loving the small swim bait. And so far, this sharp little hook is doing pretty damn good. Let's keep fishing. It's 
So far, it doesn't seem like any of the bluegill are aggressive enough to go for this little swim bait. I think it was a two-incher. But I have got two bass. I knew it was going to be interesting. All right, I'm going to get off of pink. It did well. Caught two fish. We're going to go with a different one. Let's see what else we have. Now we're going with the Trigger X. Black. Four centimeters. It's slightly smaller. We'll see if we can get a bite on this. Yeah, that looks pretty good as well. We'll see what happens. Hi, I'm Sherry. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish. I think we got a bluegill here. They're actually pulling harder than those bass. <laughs> you hear that drag? There we go. Nice. Nice jumbo aggressive bluegill here. Went for that swim bait. I can officially say I went for bass and bluegill with swim baits today. Oh no, jumped out of my hands. There he goes. Dang it. Let's just get another one. Ow, oh, he stabbed me pretty good too. Fish, here we go. Another fish on the swim bait. This is a smaller bluegill. Yeah, six incher here. Not anywhere near as big as that last one. As you can see, a half inch is making a difference. The Matrix Shad was two. This one is one and a half. I already got a couple of bites. I see some action over there. Oh, fish. I was looking at some action over there. It looks like turtles or something splashing in the water. That's another nice one. That's another nice one. I'm not going to let this one jump out of my hands. Going to keep them squeezed. You can see them though. I'm getting over the water. We're going to flat hand him and you can see just how big he is. Nice. Awesome color on this one too. He's getting ready to jump. I'm going to let him go. I got to say they're liking this Trigger X a little bit more. Well, the bluegill anyway. Let's keep going. All right, I'm curious to see what we have going on on the other side here. Let's walk around and see if we can get a bite as we make our way down the bank. Yeah, let's try a few casts over here beyond these boats. Fish, fish, fish on. Not very big. I'm gonna tighten my drag a little bit. Got another six inch bluegill here. 
It's starting to get dark. I'm glad I got out here when I did. I'm catching fish. Check them out. Mini swim bait, bluegill. Let's keep going while it's still light out. So I've walked down a little ways without getting a bite, but we're gonna try under this tree and see if we can get something over here. We're hitting a little bit of a dry spell. Might be getting too dark. Then again, all the really big bluegill might be down there at the other end. What I fear has happened is that I left fish to go find fish. But sometimes that happens. You know, I'm just messing around out here trying to catch what I can. Yeah, as the sun was going down, it feels like the bite just totally shut off. And maybe it did. Fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. I think that's another bass. Can I keep them on this tiny hook? That's the question. Last fish of the day. Let's get them up here. There we go. Nice, nice healthy bass here. Hooked in the corner of the mouth. Tiny black swim bait. Hi, this is Nicole with the last cast with Tiktaalik and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. There we go. There we go, that's a nice fish. Yeah, I'd say this fish is about, I don't know, a pound, maybe a pound and a half on its best day. Its stomach looks a little bit empty right now, but it's still a great looking fish. It's getting dark, so I don't know how well you can see it, but it's a good one and we're gonna let it go. Bass number three tonight on a tiny swim bait. This one on the black Trigger X, one and a half incher. Adios. And there we have it. I don't know how well you can see me because it's kind of dark, but I caught three largemouth bass tonight and a handful of bluegill. I was fishing a one and a half inch swim bait and a two inch swim bait and I would say the one and a half did a little bit better because it caught bluegill and bass. But I cannot count out the pink swim bait. It caught two bass right off the bat. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.